Hello, today I'm going to show you an experiment, a famous physics experiment called resistance of a wire, which is going to take various different measurements of the length and we're going to see what it does to the resistance. Uh, I'll be using this equipment that's here. Basically, we will be using a meter ruler, a wire along it, a very, very thin wire. It's a material called nichrome. And we've got the wire, power pack. This is a voltmeter and this is an ammeter. And we'll just be using those things there just to take a few measurements. Okay, this is the equipment. We've got a power pack where I'm using the DC connections and I've plugged a voltmeter in. And you can see on this it says, I think it's 3.6. The voltage of 3.6. On there it says 4, but it turns out that's not quite true. It's actually 3.6. I'll be recording it on this results table. I'll be recording the potential difference in volts, and as I work along here, I'll be changing the length, and I'll be using this multimeter to uh, get the current. So, firstly, I'm plugging in a wire from the power pack to the wire here. That's going all the way along into this wire. And then completing the circuit at the far end, I'm putting another crocodile clip at this end here. But in fact, we won't be using that very much because we're going to be going starting from this end here. All right, we're going to start at this end and I'm going to record in the results here. Right, well I'm going to start at 20 centimetres and I'm going to take a measurement every 10 centimetres all the way to the far end. And if we look here, the voltage, well the potential difference is at 3.6 and I measure at 20. I've got a current there, it's, I'm going to call it 1.9. So that is the voltage, 3.6 and the current is 1.9. Just recording it in there. Remembering, I stands for current, which is a bit weird, and we've got 1.9 there. And I just work my way along. If I very carefully put it down to 30, I can see that the voltage hasn't changed. It's still 3.6, maybe 3.8, and that is 1.4. So if I look on here, Working my way along again, I'm now on the uh, 40. Voltage hasn't changed, and I'm on 1.03. That's looking at the voltage now. So we've gone, volt, uh, the current started high 1.9, 1.4, 1.03. The current seems to be going down. The longer the wire gets, let's see if that continues. We look at 50. We're on 0.94. Try 60. We're on 0.8. And then we try uh, 70. 0.73. So as you can see, this is going down and down and down. The longer the wire gets, the less the current gets. But let's just check that voltage. I'll do 80 and we'll check the voltage again. If we look at 80, 0.62, the voltage hasn't changed. So we're still there and that is still on 3.8 and that is 0.6 or whatever it was or something like that, up to 90. I'm trying my best measuring very closely. We're on 0 0.58. 0 0.58. And then finally, up at the far end, I'm at 100 centimetres, and that is 0 0.52. But there's the current. The current's gone down and down and down. The voltage didn't really change. It was round about 3.8 all the way down, and that, that shouldn't change. That is set by the power pack. And now, what I need to do is calculate the resistance 
uh, and I'll do that by dividing potential difference by current. But just first, I want to show you a couple of things which are important in the experiment. Firstly, if I want to do this properly, I would repeat it, make sure it's really reliable, make sure I've got the things done, I'd do all these different measurements again. It's always good to repeat things. But one thing, I started here at 20 centimetres. I deliberately didn't do 10 centimetres and 5 centimetres, and that was on purpose. And there is a reason for that. There is a reason for that, and if we look here. Okay, I'm going to show you a very short measurement, like 3-4 centimetres, and I'll show you why we've not done uh, very short ones. Firstly, this bit here is blocked off with red tape, and that is deliberately because I don't want anyone to do short measurements. If we go in close, and if we look in here, I'm deliberately doing something silly, which is I'm going to make a, a very short measurement, and let's see what happens. You should be able to see that glowing, that glows red hot. Now that's bad for two reasons. Bad for two things. Firstly, it's dangerous. You could burn yourself. Secondly, if the temperature changes, it's no longer a fair test. For it to be a fair test, everything has to be the same all the time. We're only changing one variable, and that was length. Here, I've made it so hot that the test isn't valid anyway. I'm going to calculate the resistance now, and I'm calculating the resistance by doing the potential difference divided by the current. And that's worked out from the V equals IR equation. Potential difference divided by the current, which is an I, which is stupid. Okay, so 3.6 I got, 3.6, and it's divided by 1.9. That comes out as roughly 1.9. Resistance is 1.9 at 20 centimetres. At 30 centimetres, it's 3.8 divided by 1.4. So, the current's gone down. That suggests to me the resistance has in increased, and it has. We're on 2.7. The next one, the current is 1.3, the current has gone down. So that suggests to me the resistance must have increased. So if I look at that, 3.8 divided by 1.03. And it is, resistance has increased once more, we're now on 3.6. So, finally got all those resistances calculated, and you can see that as the length increased, the current went down. And that is because the resistance of the, that, that amount of wire is increasing and increasing. That means it gets harder and harder and harder to push electricity down it, which means less and less and less electricity flows. Length and resistance are directly proportional. Length and current are what we call inversely proportional. Just have a very, very quick look at a graph. I'm going to very quickly sketch one. If we have a graph, that way is length. We've just seen if we measure current, the current goes down and down and down and down and down. And down. The longer it goes, the less current flows. On the other hand, if we did a graph of resistance, as the length gets longer and longer, resistance increases and increases and increases. That's the resistance, and that one there is the current. Length and resistance are directly proportional. Length and current are inversely proportional.